Oi, tudo bem? Bienvenue dans ma nouvelle vidéo. Hello everyone, how are you my dears? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. And you know, as soon as I'm filming a video, a new video about perfume, it means that it's great. Because you know how much, how perfume lover je suis. So today we're going to review Armani Di Gioia Ocean. I look so dark <laughs> I mean I am bronzed but I look really really dark so why Ocean so I don't know if you know but I'm a great great lover of uh, Armani Di Gioia so all this line of Di Gioia I adore it it's something that I really really like I've had some of them we're gonna review some others but today I wanted to just talk about this one uh, I mean, as soon as I saw it, I decided like, wow, it smells freshness. It looks like freshness and, you know, it's blue. You see this beautiful detail here. So, you know, it's it's very beautiful as a bottle. So I said like, pourquoi pas, why not? I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to like it. And it was a blind buy. I found it on eBay and I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy it. I just love it. I don't care. And uh, this is 100 milliliters, something that I don't usually uh, buy because it's too much for me and I get bored with perfume. But I said, this one is 100 milliliters, so why not try? Maybe it will be great. Please don't forget to subscribe. Do it now. Did you subscribe? Okay, so I bought it. Now, let's see. Always in the closet. You see? Wow, the sillage. It's very beautiful. Okay, so the main accords are Poiré, so pear, jasmine, uh, sandal, musk, yeah, water, jasmine, sandalwood, musk. Okay, what I don't like about it is a pear. I don't like, I don't even eat it, so I don't like the smell, of course, because it's not my type and that's something that I don't like also to smell in my perfumes. This is very fresh. It's very beautiful. It's very ocean. Just like you went from the bed directly and you put it on and it's absolutely fabulous. I have to say what it is. So from that point of view, freshness, if you like fresh perfumes, you will love it. Longevity, as in any fresh perfume, longevity is not there, is not present. I mean, it lasts up to three, four, I would say four hours, but not more than it. It not, doesn't even stay on my clothing, so it's not very, very prominent. It's not something that when you will pass by, people will smell the sillage, so like smell all over you. No. But it is fresh. It gives this ocean vibe. It's, it is beautiful. I mean, I cannot say it's not beautiful. It's just I don't like the pear. And that's, I think, is the main thing. Also, what I've noticed so far, I've really, really liked warm perfumes. Like, I think that the one, Terra di Gioia, would be a much better option for me because it's warm and I love it. And actually, I realized that I'm not so much attracted to fresh perfumes. So I love either citrusy or very creamy coconut vanilla for, vanilla for summer. Like fresh, for me they're beautiful, but just doesn't go with my personality. I'm very <laughs> extrovert person all over the place. Um, and I think that kind of this léger parfum, so very léger, like light perfume, doesn't go. There's like, it's not in the alignment with my personality. I love to be very prominent, dominant perfume that you will smell, that people will ask, what is this about? And Armani Ocean Di Gioia doesn't give, doesn't give it what I'm asking for. <laughs> it definitely refuses to give it. Also, I bought it because it reminds me of an ocean and I don't know, I live near the sea and I'm on a beach all the time. I'm very waterish person. I love water, it's my life. So this was one of the things that really got me into buying by it. I was amazed by it. Then I said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, just, I'm gonna 
gonna take it. So let's see what does it says on Fragrantica, you know, that's our partner in crime. <laughs> Armani di Gioia Ocean. Do you say Ocean? Ocean or Ocean? So main accord, as I told you, it's white floral, but I have white floral. It doesn't smell the same. Fresh, that's true. Green, fruity, citrus, sweet, musky, salty, aquatic, powdery. This is definitely the truth. Uh, it was launched in 2020, was created by Marie-Pierre Julien and Son Sonia Constant. Yeah, pear, pear is just a top note that I can feel very, very, very prominent here. Pear, citrus and green note, but I don't like it. Yeah, there's some salt here, rose and yeah. So longevity, as far as I can see, is moderate to weak. Sillage, also moderate to intimate. It's more female, but I think this could be unisex, very. Um, so I don't know, I just prefer the sun or any other, which is kind of more warm. So either citrusy or either the warm. Freshness maybe just doesn't go with my personality. So what I'm gonna do about it, I think that I'm gonna skip it, that I'm gonna buy it, then I'm gonna try to sold it or just give it as a gift or whatever I can do without it, uh, whatever because it's not my type of the perfume. I don't say it's a negative one. I don't say that you should not purchase it because you should, if you like the citrus, if you like the freshness. And if you're like, I imagine some, you know, very sweet girl, shy, shy who wears this perfect, but just not part of, part of me. But definitely if you're considering buying, uh, go forward. If you love fresh perfumes, it will be your goal to the summer. And voila! So here we are. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, put a thumbs up and see you very, very, very soon. I'm sending you one beautiful smelly kiss. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.